morning, Quite Copter 101. And before we get started, let's get the shout outs out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Pete the Bush RBLX. Pete the Bush RBLX was the first to say first to one of my recent videos, and this one's a shout out. So, what do I got for you today? This is the new Kaiding K150 car drone. It is a portable little drone that you can put in your pocket. I got another one in my pocket right now. <laughs> I got uh, Kaiding sent me two of these actually to review. But um, it's a neat little design. You know, looking at it, you can say right away that this is mainly meant for indoor flying, although I am going to be flying it outdoors today. Uh, you notice on the front, it's got a camera. So indoor flying camera, you say again, okay, this is a selfie drone. Yes, indeed, it is a selfie drone. Uh, it takes 720p HD video and pictures through that uh, little micro uh, camera there. And it transmits that to your phone, so you can see it real time on your phone via FPV using the KD CD2 app. There's one other thing this drone has that makes it neat in that it has an optical flow sensor. See this little camera right here? This little camera looks down at the ground and based on what it sees it automatically maintains the drone's position in hover. You don't have to actually fly this folks. You just put it in the air, point it in the direction that you want to take a photo or a video and take your photo and video and then land it. That's the idea of this thing. Quick Quick take off, take your photo, take your video, and then land it again for your, until you want to take another photo. Now, this has one other feature via its KDCD2 app, and that is a, they call it facial recognition, but it's a rudimentary follow me, optical flow, or optical follow me. Um, it, you pick a, an object that you want to follow on the screen, and this will turn to follow that object. It will not follow the object horizontally because to do such using optical uh, calculations, you have to have some altitude and a downward angle to figure out the distance from the drone to you. So, but since this is on the same level as you, all it's going to do in follow me, though, is just simply turn. It should simply turn to maintain its uh, camera in your direction. Okay, well, that's it. Let's fire it up, try it out, and see how it performs. To turn this on, you press this button here, and then you connect to its... Uh, 2.4 gigahertz FPV or Wi-Fi signal and then open up the KDCD2 app and I'm going to do that right now. Okay this is the KDCD2 app and you can see the FPV video from the drone and if you look at the top you'll see we have controls for entering or exiting out of the app that's that arrow to the left then we the next one in the line there shows a camera that's for taking photos the next one shows a video that's for taking videos Next one after that shows a light. That's for turning on and off the light. By the way, this has a nice blue LED light that you can see indoors. You can't see, really see it outdoors, but we're going to turn that light off by pressing that button there to save power. Then you got high and low rates. Um, I don't have any wind today, so I'm going to keep it in low rate for now. And you have one key return, which is that H with a, a downward pointing arrow. And uh, we have gyro control, and we can turn on and off the control joysticks by clicking that eyeball. And the next one next to that is headless mode. And 3D view if you want to use goggles, but you don't want to use goggles with this drone. And finally, that one on the far right is the follow me, and I'll show you that when we get into the air. Additionally, if you look in the bottom left, you can switch between mode 1 and mode 2. Control by pressing that 1 to 2 button. And you notice that the red circle moves to the right, which means my throttle is now on the right. I'm in mode 1. I'm going to click it again. And the red circle is on the left, which means the throttle is on the left. I'm now back in mode 2. And it has camera up and camera down. That does not work with this drone. This drone does not have a camera up and camera down. And then you have the takeoff button. And then the one next to that is the headless mode button. You can reset your headless mode direction by pressing that the thing. It looks like a cloud with rain coming out of the bottom of it. Pressing that, you can reset headless mode. But let's just simply start the video camera, start recording, and then hit the takeoff button to see how the optical flow works. So, takeoff button is activated, and there's the drone, just hovering position. Now, there's a thing about this drone: it climbs to about an altitude of about a little over a meter, and it maintains that altitude. Um, if you send it up here, let me get in the, let me turn the turn the drone too. Turn it to the left, and get in the picture, take it up a bit higher, see, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Now, let me get back out into the picture, <laughs> how do you like my shirt today, folks? Let's try that follow me button, pressing the follow me, and 
hot lining myself and let's see if it actually turns and it's not turning did I hit start no I did not hit start okay you gotta hit start so start is activated so now let's see if it follows me or turns in my direction as I move yes it does ain't that cool you know a little cheap little toy like this can do that can maintain the center of attention <laughs> of the camera on you <laughs> this is great for people who like pictures of themselves like me <laughs> so, okay that is the follow me now notice as I move farther back I don't think this thing's going to follow me okay it will not and the reason being again you need altitude uh, look down angle to be able to calculate uh, the here let me hit reset to calculate the distance okay I gotta exit follow me let me exit follow me there I want to bring it down a little lower it's a little too high <laughs> I am going to hit land there's a wind picking up that's what's happening I'm gonna hit land but because I want to show you something else look at that video that video is still delayed which is telling me that there's <laughs> This thing still thinks it's in flight. Okay, the app is somewhat delayed. So I'm going to restart the, the drone, actually, to get back um, real-time video. Okay, there's some delay there, some lag, and I'm not sure what's causing it. So we're, let's restart the drone, see if that gets rid of that lag. Okay, I've restarted the app. Let's put it back in the air again. Hitting takeoff. Let's let it set its uh, altitude. Taking it up a bit higher, right about there. And what I'm going to do right now is I want to fly in uh, headless mode. So headless mode is activated. I'm going to turn the drone toward B. Hit record. Then I'm going to push forward. Now forward seems to be that direction. And I'm going to turn the drone a little bit more. Toward B. <laughs> and get in the picture. Now, I notice when I use that follow me, I, I pick up a lot of lag, okay? That's because there's a lot of computations going on to do that follow me uh, inside this uh, phone. The computations are not being done by the drone. It's being done by my phone, okay? And that's, that'll slow it down when it's doing it. Let me take a photo or two. One more. Showing you the photos this could take, okay? But, you know, that's the, the big limitation of uh, doing uh, Follow Me with these toy drones is that they use your phone to do the calculations. Okay, let's start the video up. Video is started again. But uh, let me, well, the reason I do this, folks, is I sync up the videos. There's still lag. I can see some lag there, but it's only about a half second right now. But it really picked up when I started doing those computations. You know, started doing uh, the Follow Me to turn it. So... Keep that in mind if you're going to do follow me let me turn it toward me actually let me move over here the sun's in my eyes that's why i want to move it <laughs> 45 degree angle from where i was okay let's see can i see can it see me over there it's come down a little lower it's, it's a little bit too high for that drone go back up a little higher <laughs> right about there hopefully okay is it going to maintain position the wind is picking up and I'm trying to see how well this handles the wind. Not very well. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring it down a little lower. Is it handling the wind now? Kind of, but not very, very well. So keep in mind, again, mainly meant for indoor flying. And I think its flight time is just about up. So let's stop the video there. That's its flight time, folks. So all in all, you know, again, mainly meant for indoor flying. Outdoors, not so much. You get a little bit of wind and it starts to take it away. Um, its optical flow does work well on a windless day. <laughs> um, the follow me does work well, but it, it increases the it can increase lag on of the video that you view on your phone, and that's probably going to vary from phone to phone because my phone's a cheap phone from uh, China. <laughs> there, but there's probably other phones out there with much more better, which much better uh, computational abilities, and that lag will probably be a lot less. So, all in all, the KD K, Kaideng K150 car drone. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101. 
signing out.